Good morning. In this tutorial, I'm going to get you up to speed with We're All Going to Make It, the web free front end framework. I'll show you how to set up a dev environment for live coding and interact with smart contracts to create modern web experiences. To start your web free journey with We're All Going to Make It, you'll need Node.js installed. If you haven't got that already, then go to Node.js.org and follow the instructions to install. In a fresh directory, then go run these two commands to install We're All Going to Make It and create a boilerplate project npm install wagmi and vm, and then npm init wagmi. After running these commands, you'll be presented with a set of options to create your project boilerplate. In this example, we'll choose the mint nft example. With the setup complete, navigate to your new project directory using the cd project name command. Now let's prepare your live coding environment. Type npm run dev to set up a local server, then open your code editor of choice. I'm using VS Code here in this example then simultaneously open up your web browser and point it at localhost on port 3000. Any changes that you make to your code will be instantly reflected in the browser. Now that we're all set up, it's time to start building. We'll begin by modifying the main page. So open up page.tsx in the app directory and try changing the h1 tag to customize the page title. You can also style the site and integrate other React and Next.js components as per your design requirements. Let's add a new component. So Go into page.tsx, and this is where you'll create your modules and functionality for your front ends. Start by importing the name NFT component from components uh, hyphen name NFT. And then within the return section, add the following code snippet. Now you might encounter some initial errors because we haven't actually created that component yet. So let's go ahead and fix that. Navigate to components and create a new file named name NFT.tsx. And in that file, we'll add the following code. The first two lines import the use contract read function from we're all going to make it and an ABI application binary interface, which is specific to the smart contract that we're working with. The ABI acts like an instruction set for the smart contract, describing its functions, inputs, outputs. Fortunately, we have that already for the example contract. It's in generator.ts, so we'll use that. Next, we export the name NFT component and create a constant variable called name. This will utilize the use contract read. We're all going to make it function to read the NFT's name function from the smart contract. We provide the contract address, the ABI, the function name, and the Boolean for watch, which is like a true false value to tell it whether to update on any changes. Within the name NFT component function, we then return the formatted HTML with the name variable inserted. This will dynamically inject the name of the NFT contract or any other on-chain data you desire into your web page. And there you have it, your very own web free component, which gathers and displays on chain data. There's more information in the developer docs and a blog post link to in the description. Thank you for watching this. We're all going to make it tutorial. And if you found it useful and helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more blockchain developer content. Thank you for watching.